I want to talk to my younger generation for a moment, especially all the ones who rap, want to be a rapper. Some of y'all I've been hitting up in the email. Let me let me let me hit y'off with something here. Because if you notice, the majority of these rappers keep going back to the penitentiary, okay? Or jail time. But I want to tell you something that they ain't going to tell you from being a producer, being in and out of studios all my life. Let me tell you something. This is real what I'm about to tell you. You see my title? Hip hop. Or if you wouldn't even throw trap music in there. It equals the penitentiary. I'm going to say it again. It equals the penitentiary. Not all rappers are locked up. But if you realize what's in your lyrics. Oh, I hope they let this video go through. I pray, Father, right now. This video will go through. Why do you think they keep promoting sex, drug, drugs, violence? Jack and Robin, you name it, drinking, you name it, et cetera, et cetera. See, you cannot have an empty prison bed. You can't have an empty, a, a vacant penitentiary room, okay? Penitentiary is a business. I keep telling people this for years. Penitentiary is a business. Shout out to my boy, Big Ron, you know who you are. You are a prison warden. You, big shout out to you. You know who you are. Penitentiary is a business, okay? These rappers are going to continue to go in and out of jail. Now ask yourself this question. Why is it so many record labels own private prisons? See, y'all don't think about this. Do your research, homie. Do it. Most labels now own private penitentiaries. Or have you ever heard of the CCA? Hmm? Well, what's the CCA? The Correctional Corporation of America. You ever wonder why they got in contact with 48 states offering to buy their prisons? Come on now. I know you know this. It's all a setup. And that's why the more and more gang violence, the more and more the lyrics get more and more deep, the more and more they want you to murder each other. They want you to talk about the dope game. They, they, oh, they love trap music. That's why they write a lot of times and tell you what to rap. And if you don't, they got a problem with you. That's why they want you to sign. You don't even know a lot of, a lot of y'all getting set up to go right, right to the penitentiary. And then let me throw this in there. You ever wonder why that they they have these serious insurance policies on their rappers, on their artists? Think about what I'm saying in this video. And then you try to own your own masters. Whole lot of things go down the wrong way, don't it? So I'm, 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 I'm make this video very short, very short. It's all a setup. They love the trap music. They love to promote this stuff because it's money for them. Yeah, they may give you a little something, something. But it's designed to keep you in debt. Just like Jada Kiss said in that song, why? Why is the industry designed to keep the artists in debt? It's also designed to keep you in that penitentiary, to lock you up. You know, back then it used to cost about forty-five thousand to fifty thousand to house an inmate, but now, boy, you're talking about almost a half a million dollars. That I mean, it may be even more than that. It's some serious money, especially in you black men, us black men being locked up. And you think you just rapping and, and then you wonder why you keep seeing all this stuff going on. It's a part of the game. Now, I know some of y'all still won't listen, but the more and more hip hop 
the more and more rap artists, the more and more young men you will see locked up. If you do the research, how many, if they not locked up, how many black men, the way they died was from gun violence? Think about it. See, I used to be I used to be out of toughness in the, in this stuff, man. With the man, I used to be around a lot of rappers. And I'm gonna tell you something. They gonna play you. They already playing you. They see you coming a mile away. Because they know when they go, if they can get the average young brother out the out the hood that wanna make it, look what you gotta do to make it. And look what that label gonna truly do to you. Especially if they give you an advance. Oh yeah. You gotta pay all that back plus and more. Y'all know I went into details about that in the older video, but I'm 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 gonna stop right here. But just catch what I'm saying. Because I want you to think about you really want to be a hip hop artist? You really want to rap? You really want to continue to do trap music? You really think they're going to let you move up the ladder without it costing you something? Have a blessed day.